Look, um, Skip on his personal podcast, it gets very personal, man. Very, very personal when I like it. You know, he says things that, you know, he can't say on national television, you know. Um, he spoke about the fact that four or five days before, you know, Monday, the first show with the, with the new guys, you know, with a very intense personalities, he, you know, he had anxiety, even when the church, um, and then, you know, he spoke about, you know, being on the show and being uncomfortable, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he was very honest, you know, being uncomfortable. It's like, you know, it, it's, it's almost like. A out of body experience. That's how. That's that's the vibe that I'm getting from him. You know, it's it's new, and he's not letting it get to him. He's embracing the anxiety, the uncomfortableness, and just knowing that this is this is new, and this is what he has to work with. You know what I'm saying? And adjust and do the heavy lifting. And he likes the fact that you know those guys. You know, they always feel like yo. Everything blew by real fast, you know? So that means everybody's enjoying enjoying the show. But it's so new. And, you know, reporters, they need something sensational. Because everybody that writes a report is trying to get other people to read it, watch it, listen to it, whatever. So they always go, it's going to be clickbait. It's going to be sensational. It's going to be heightened. Oh, Skip Bayless, this show is about to crumble. Oh, there was a devastating first three days on first... Uh, on our, our undisputed, you know what I'm saying? That's what people are gonna do. You know, that's this. This is how they get their audience engaged. You know what I'm saying? When it's very normal for Skip to be out of the loop or just look like he's out of out of the loop, or just to be, you know, it just what they call him a moderator, just to be watching and understanding those guys and all those personalities, those heavy personalities, you know, the alpha dog, you know what I'm saying? You got Richard Sherman, you got Keyshawn Johnson, and then you got Playmaker, man, Michael Irvin, you know what I'm saying? All these guys is outspoken, mainly like Michael Irvin and and, uh, and Keyshawn, they're very outspoken. They want to get their points across. And as a matter of fact, a lot of these guys haven't, well, Skip hasn't been on TV in a while, Michael Irvin hasn't been on TV in a while. I don't even know when Richard Sherman was on TV. I don't know. I haven't been following him. Maybe y'all know some shit I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they got on TV and everybody came to play. And it was like the bomb just dropped. And then we just began to watch it. To me, I like when Skip was talking about it was edgy. Because that's a word that I use. It was cringy. It was edgy. It was intense. It's like, you know what I mean? You watching it and you're like, whoo, you, you, you're on the edge of your seat. So... I like that Skip was honest about his feelings and saying, yo, it made me uncomfortable, but I'm riding with it. It's not uncomfortable in the sense like, yo, I want to throw these guys away. I'm done with the show. No, but it's like, yo, I was going through natural human emotions. You know what I'm saying? I'm new to this format with these guys all sitting here having this show. It's new. And he's going through the feeling that any person will go through in a new situation. It's very normal. You know what I'm saying? And he's embracing it. And I like it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Subscribe to Go Gate House. Make sure you like it too. All this is so new. I'm going to get to our other segment here in a moment that's brand new. But the truth is, as different and challenging as this is for me, as my wife Ernestine always says to me, that my comfort zone is always outside my comfort zone. I, I don't like comfort zone. I, I like to be uncomfortable. And yeah, I guess you could say I was a little uncomfortable on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this show, but in a great way, like an edgy way, like a, an explosive way. And I love the feel and the flavor and the vibe and the momentum of the new Undisputed. All I can tell you is my new teammates, Michael, Key, as they call him, Sherm, those three, every day, the moment we finish, they look across the table and say, man, that flew by. Maybe it didn't fly by for me quite like it did for them because I'm having to do some heavy lifting. 
but that is a great sign, Hector from Miami, Florida. So I'm reading the prompter. I did okay. I do the three big introductions and then all of a sudden <laughs> it just explodes with energy, lightning strikes, chaos, all of it sensational because we had all waited so long. So th the point is, did, did I have on say Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, did I have some bouts of insecurity? Yeah, I had a few. Did I have sort of waves of anxiety? Yeah, I'm human because I wasn't sure. I'm a control freak. I just wasn't sure what to expect. It's, it's all new. Even now we're still experimenting. It's all new. I jump out of bed in the morning thinking, wonder what's going to happen today. I don't know. I'm out of my comfort zone and I am extremely happy right now. I love this feeling. I, I love the over emotion of the moment.